Hello, my name is Philip Davis of phoenixeft.co.uk. This is the second video in the series about the exciting new meridian tapping technique that we have called picture tapping technique or PTT for short. Now in this video I'm going to be talking you through a picture tapping case study as well as talking about some more of the theory behind this exciting new technique. Now, I if you've not already seen the first video in this series, please go and watch it now and then come back to this video. So for those of you who are still here, first of all, a picture tapping case study. Now this particular client reported depression and anxiety, coupled with obsessive thoughts around things that she knew at some level were logically insignificant. This series of drawings were drawn on her third EFT session with me. We had made some progress in the previous sessions just using EFT. We had stopped the obsessive thoughts and reduced her anxiety immediately after the session. However, the depression and anxiety would always return after a few days. She said at the start of this session that she felt like she was a balloon that was ready to burst with the pressure. I asked her how much pressure that was on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 was none and 10 was as bad as it could get, and she said it was 9. I asked her to draw what that 9 felt like, and this is what she drew. She said that the outer black balloon was her under pressure, and that the inner blue balloon was the way it should be, and the arrows represented that pressure. We tapped on this picture's description and then I asked her to draw it again and she said it's more or less the same and I said well that's okay I'll just draw the same again and this is what she drew. This picture was drawn with the outside balloon in purple and a blue inner balloon. When I asked what the title would be she laughed and said well it's silly because the words princess in the lake have come to me. And I said, that's perfect. It, that, it's the things that just pop into your head from nowhere that I want. She also said that the lake in the middle had gently lapping waves. She said that the pressure was not so great now. We tapped on the description of this picture and then I asked her to draw another picture and this is what she drew. When she drew the black entity, as she called it, at the edge of the lake, she started to cry. She said that these were tears of release. There was no sadness, just release, as if something had moved. She then drew the orange line between her and the entity, and she said that the line represented her pushing the entity away from her lake. We then tapped on that and asked her to draw another picture. She said that she was getting bigger now, and that the entity had become slightly smaller. As an afterthought, she added some muscles on her arms to show how much stronger she had become. She also said that the lake was not so important now, but it was still there. We tapped on all the contents of this picture, and I asked her to draw another picture, and this is what she drew. And she saw herself sitting on a bench, all in orange. The entity was like a black dog, but not her dog, because her dog was well behaved. She had the entity on a red leash, so it was controlled. She thought that perhaps this is the way to deal with events in her life, as if they were a naughty dog who needed training. Perhaps that is the way she, she could handle the things that were currently overwhelming her. We tapped on all the contents of this picture, and then I asked her to draw another. And this is what she drew. She saw that the sun was coming out from behind a grey cloud. It was important for her that the cloud was grey, so she used a pencil for this. We tapped on all the contents of this picture. I asked if this picture represented resolution of the issue, but she thought that because there was still a cloud there, there was still potential for future problems. So I asked her to draw another picture, and this is what she drew. She said that this was peaceful and represented resolution for her. 
And so he tapped on all the contents of this picture, and then I anchored that resolution in her body. Afterwards, I asked her how depressed or anxious she felt now, on that same scale of 0 to 10. And she said that she was not able to connect to the depression and anxiety anymore. So we took that to be a zero. And she also said that she felt lighter. She certainly looked as if a weight had been lifted from her shoulders. Now I'd like to spend a moment just looking at the pictures again and talk to you about the interpretation of those pictures. And you will see in pictures one, two and three, there's a very strong suggestion of birth trauma. The shapes of the blue and the lake in the middle representing the womb and the amniotic fluid. There is also a suggestion that perhaps the entity is the twin that was lost. I asked her if she was one of twins and she said, well, it's funny you should say that, but my mother has always denied that I was one of twins. But when I was growing up, I always wanted to have a twin sister ever since I was born. She said she always felt as though she ought to have a twin sister. And to this day, she feels a sense of grief whenever she sees twins in the street or on the television. So my thought is that there was a twin that was reabsorbed very early in the pregnancy. Of course, there is no way to ever prove this now. The follow-up on this case is that she emailed me about a week later saying, I am emailing you to give you a report on how I've been getting on since the EFT session last Tuesday. I'm glad to say that I'm feeling a lot less stressed. The pressure that I was experiencing seems to have gone. I think the picture tapping was just what I needed to get back on track. To sum up, this client achieved resolution in about 30 minutes using nothing more than drawn pictures and tapping. And during that time, no references at all were made to her presenting symptoms of depression and anxiety. The effect lasted, and the client is now leading a much happier, anxiety, stress-free life. As I have said before, picture tapping can take the results you get with your clients to a whole new level. Now, I'd like to go into a bit more detail about how and why the process works. As a reminder, picture tapping technique requires the client to draw sequential pictures which relate to the issues with which they wish to work. The power of the pictures generated is sometimes astonishing to both the practitioner and the client. First of all, there are three powerful elements brought together in the picture tapping technique. First of all, art therapy. Secondly, meridian tapping. And thirdly, clean language. Art has been used since forever as a means of healing. As Henry Ward Beecher said, every artist dips his brush into his own soul and paints his own nature into his pictures. Meridian tapping in the form of EFT or TFT this powerful healing technique has already brought relief to millions around the world. And the clean language component, which is used as part of the process, allows the client to generate their own reframes and cognitive shifts, etc. As I shall explain further in a minute. These three elements combine together to make something very special happen. Now, if a healing technique requires the practitioner to have a mental agility of Albert Einstein, then there's not going to be a lot of use to anyone but a minute fraction of the population. We found through experiment that when the practitioner has an absolute minimum of original input into a picture tapping session, the results were far better, far more long lasting and a lot gentler than if the practitioner is trying to create reframes or trying to steer the session in a particular direction, according to what the practitioner believes is in the best interests of the client. We have made picture tapping technique as simple as we can make it. The aim is to get the practitioner firmly out of the way. When an issue is being described verbally to another person, e.g. the practitioner, 
from the client to the practitioner, many things can happen which interfere with the information being transmitted accurately. For an example of this, just try describing to someone what it feels like to be in love. A million love songs have tried, but none of them prepared me for the reality of that particular experience. The picture tapping technique avoids this problem because it removes the need for the client to verbalise their problems and it takes virtually all of the practitioner's input and interpretation out of the process. When picture tapping technique is done as suggested, there is no need to find clever phrases, create reframes or go searching for aspects. The client is allowed to generate their own reframes, their own insights and cognitive shifts that all come from within. These self-generated shifts have far more sticking power because they come directly from the client and they're not imposed upon them or suggested from outside. Consequently, the resolution gained can be profound. Art is very, very powerful as part of the therapeutic process. And there are several reasons for this. The entire range of human experience can be and has been expressed in the form of art. Art is a vehicle for expression that engages both the subconscious and the conscious mind. Art provides a means for conveying experiences which can, can go far beyond the limitation of mere words using colours, lines, textures, shapes, symbolism, imagery. Clients can express all kinds of feelings, all kinds of emotional undertones to those feelings, all kinds of emotional overtones to the experience. Art is a vehicle through which a person may safely express forbidden or taboo thoughts. And the drawing process itself is cathartic. The simple act of drawing an issue on a sheet of paper can begin to release the problem even with no further intervention. Art allows many aspects or issues to be simultaneously expressed. A picture paints a thousand words, as the Chinese proverb would have it. Art allows a client to express themselves more freely than words alone will allow. And the drawing of a picture allows the client to dissociate themselves from the, from the problem. Therefore, the artistic process by itself allows the client to freely express their issues, as well as giving a degree of resolution. And when this is combined with the power of meridian tapping and clean language, something very special seems to happen. In summary, therefore, Picture tapping technique is very gentle and very simple to use. It keeps the practitioner input to an absolute minimum. It allows reframes, cognitive shifts, finding aspects and related issues all to be carried out by the client. This gives increased stick to the shifts that the client has generated from within. We are giving picture tapping training courses on a regular basis. Please have a look at our website for details of our forthcoming courses. Thank you very much.